Just to start off, earlier today, Adrian Wojnarowski from ESPN tweeted out that Rich Paul and Clutch Sports are in step together and wanting Ben Simmons to be moved. Um, with that said, as Woj did say in his report, draft night is always a, quote, ideal vehicle for a deal, but talks could continue into the summer. And that connects with what I've reported recently, what others have reported recently, is that this could drag on for quite some time now because the demand on the Sixers side is just over the top. They're asking for four first round draft picks, multiple pick swaps from San Antonio. They're asking for Van Vliet and Ananobi and future first from Toronto. Right now, Kyle, when I look at what we're hearing about Philadelphia is Daryl Morey is asking for way too much. And this is probably to either just appease, you know, Simmons and clutch. Hey, we're working on it. Or it's just setting that ball really high. And then he comes down on draft night. And over the next 24 hours, we're going to find out what do you think Philly should be doing here? I mean, like, is it in their right? Like, should they be waiting here or should they be trying to push for a deal now before Simmons value drops even more? Uh, I, I think that they're doing the right thing. This is just how it works. I mean, whenever you go to buy, a, when I bought a car a couple of years ago and I had the Carfax paper and I sat down with the guy and it was on one side of the pie and I said, can we move it to the other side of the pie? Because that's <laughs> you meet you meet in the middle. So, I mean, I but I think it is high just at like face value because it, I, it, it obviously is high. The price that you named, like, you know, four first round picks and like multiple proven players, I think you're talking about a proven creator type that can like carry an offensive load. And Ben Simmons is not in that, you know, in that realm. And there are a lot of questions. So I think Maury's playing it correctly. He's trying to ask for too much for way more than he's worth. And he'll come down because I was I spent some time this afternoon messing with some trades with them with like the Kings. And even when I was like mixing in players that I thought were worth it, it's it's like I do think they should get a proven good player back. Uh, but I think like the the fleet of picks and then like multiple proven players, I don't know that he's quite worth that like hardened price. You know what I mean? Like I don't oh, I don't think yeah. he's on that level no for way. sure. Not it's not a question. No, no, no chance. I mean, Ben Simmons, like awesome defender, magnificent playmaker, good interior scorer, not worth seven first draft draft picks. No, he's just not worth that. And, and ultimately, for Philly here, we know what they want to do. They want Damian Lillard. They want Bradley Beal. They're hoping those guys become available within a window that they still have Ben Simmons, that they still have all their first round draft picks to trade for one of those guys. That's what they hope for. But that might not happen. Like, it's very possible that the Wizards are like, we don't want Ben Simmons. It's very possible the Blazers are like, eh, we'd rather get a draft picks based package just like Houston did. You know, it's very possible that that's how things will go here in the coming months. So, for Philadelphia, it was reported by The Athletic that the Heat, Wizards, and Raptors are some of the key teams that could be involved in conversation for Ben Simmons. Of those three, I mean, let's say something does work out maybe on draft night. Is there an a, a, a ideal situation for Ben Simmons, in your opinion, Kyle? You said between Toronto, Miami, and what was the other Washington. one? Washington. And Washington. Or, or, or you can throw out a wild card if you want to as well. Is there an it's, ideal fit for him? I the reason I kept trying to go back to Sacramento is because I like there was no way to do that without moving Fox. I mean, I like the idea of him playing because he can play make and because he is such a versatile defender. He sort of answers a lot of their questions. I think some of the some of the quest some of the uh value sort of stuff that fits with for for Sacramento works here because you know, Sac teams that that wouldn't ordinarily have a chance to get a player like this is kind of what I'm getting at. Like so and Sacramento is one of those. Um that would work. I mean, I like the idea on paper of like going with the two score first guards, like in Cleveland. I don't know if they could pull something like that off. I'm uh, but that. yeah, yeah, but you'd have to you would have to break up the assets. Like there's no there would be no way to keep that triangle intact because Maury's going to want one of those pieces wherever it is. I'm I'm curious what you think. I mean, what do you? Bam, I don't see Bam and Simmons playing together. Do you? I don't see how that could possibly work. I, I don't I don't like the fit at all. I yeah. don't one bit. I mean, we saw Simmons and Bede and Butler work in Philadelphia, but I don't love Bam, Butler and Simmons in Miami because Bam is just a different type of player. I think I think Simmons, if anything, takes away some of the playmaking that makes Bam out of bio so important and valuable and critical to that Miami half court offense. And there's like an overlapping of skills that clash together. 
And I don't, I don't, I actually kind of hate the fit for the Heat. <laughs> they're going to be looking elsewhere. I mean, they're going to be looking for Kyle Lowry, and they very much are in it. You know, sources have told me that they do believe they have a shot at Kyle Lowry, but so don't the Pelicans. So yeah. don't the Mavericks. So don't, you know, the Raptors for that matter. I mean, there are teams that believe they have an opportunity to get Kyle Lowry, the Knicks too. So there's a lot that can happen here. I don't expect the Ben Simmons deal on draft night. We'll see what happens.